brand new Pokemon card set, Silver Tempest, is officially here. Well, not quite yet, because today we're actually going to be getting an exclusive look at this new set and open up an entire booster box. It features Lugia, Ho-Oh, Reggie Drago, and a ton more. So here we go. We have Silver Tempest, and if you're a Lugia fan, this is definitely a set for you, because there's literally six different Lugia cards you could pull from a booster box. Absolutely love what they did on the front here. You have Lugia flying through the sky. Really nice artwork. And then on the back, an ominous rumble echoes in the distance, and Lugia V-Star emerges from the ocean's depths to answer its call. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay, so we're going to slice into this box for the very first time. We are opening Silver Tempest here. We're going to see the pack artworks as well. I have no idea. I'm going to assume there's going to be a Lugia pack artwork in here, and there definitely is. Oh, my God. Dude, that looks amazing. That's a really cool artwork. So the back has like gold on there as well. Definitely has like a similar design to Brilliant Stars um, and Astral Radiance. Okay, okay. So we got some Reggie Drago action going on. We got Vulpix on here as well. Lowland Vulpix is featured in this set. Actually, I think it's on the ETB as well. Oh, man. Then another Regilecki right here. All right, and these are all the artworks. Let me know which one is your favorite down below. All right, so we have 36 booster packs ready to go, but there's just one more thing. I'm actually going to be giving away every single card that I pull in today's video. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is, number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. So click that bell icon and set it to all. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this set. All right, so we're going to start with our very first booster pack, and we have to go with the Lugia pack artwork here. So let's get this opened up and see if maybe we can start this off with a banger. We're going to see every artwork in here. Let's, so let's see the code card. I don't think these work yet. That, I think that's a good sign. I think that means there's going to be actually something in here. We're going to go four from the back. That should still be the same. And we have a water energy to start off. So this pack definitely, I think, might have a hollow or better in here. All right, let's go. We got breaks in. Sigalip, Halucha. So these are some of the commons in the set. We have Rufflet in here. There's a regular Vulpix. Moving into a Drowsy, sitting there just chilling at night. We have a Growlithe as well. Moving into a Stone Journal Reverse. And our first card is going to be a Superior Beastar Cold card on the very first pack, baby. Let's go. No shot, bro. Pulling a secret rare just like that off the rip, bro. No way. Look at this card. Actually, Quaddy looks amazing on this thing. Yo, this actually looks like Brilliant Stars Quaddy. Look at this card. It's actually perfect. Like, this is pretty much a very good shot, like, at a 10. Besides, the centering is a little off left to right. That is amazing. We got a secret rare gold card on the first pack. Bro, you got to be kidding me. Okay, remember, all the cards are getting given away, so you might want to enter today's giveaway because uh, you're guaranteed, if you win, to get a superior gold card. Like, that is nuts. First pack magic, Silver Tempest. I hope this is how our luck is going to be here on out. Honchkrow, there's Raichu in here as well. Okay, okay. Swirlix. Indeedy. Fungus Reverse into a Noivern non-hollow. Oh my god. Okay, I'm thinking these are going to have pull rates just like Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, all those sets that have the Trainer Gallery. I'm pretty sure that we might get super lucky with these boxes, how Pokemon has them because of that. Let's go. Let's go. Solosis. There's going to be so many new uh, Silver Tempest products that we're going to be opening here on the channel, so you're going to want to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. We got a Frostless non-hollow. Very nice artwork, though. Frosty Jail. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but we should ha also have the Elite Trainer Box video dropping tomorrow as well. So make sure you check back for that one. Because uh, here's the thing. We don't really know all the cards that are in this set. I mean, we kind of know because you can see some of the Japanese versions. But, like, all the artworks in the set have not really been revealed as the English version. Look at this Venom out in her tree. So with the ETB, you do get that little booklet that's going to show all the cards. Oh, my God. It's a great Pikachu artwork. Look at this. Dude. The whole squad. Noibat. Sandy Gast. And we got a ho ho V. Let's go. Dude, the rainbow burn. This looks amazing. Just for a regular V card, this looks so good. Man, both hits so far today are bangers. We haven't even got a regular Holly. We're just getting straight bangers. All right, we're doing really good. I feel like we're doing like amazing, actually, just because we got a secret rare off the first um, pack. And not only that, it was a gold card, which. If you guys know, uh, the gold cards are pretty tough to pull in the rainbows and stuff in the main set. are just really hard to get secret rares. Um, ooh, look at this fossil. That's some serious detail there. Beeb is sleeping. Do fish sleep? Finnegan, Spinarak, climbing up a wall. Beldum. We got a Krogunk. V-Guard Energy. And our first hollow is going to be Ryunculus. So I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this is actually going to be the very last from the Sword and Shield era. We're going to get another special, like, 0.5 set actually after this, which... 
I think is in like January or something we're gonna get that something like that but this is the last like main series set before we move into uh, Scarlet and Violet generation which is nuts Sun Flora dude that's a great artwork too Ooh, we got some altars. We got Dratini. Nice. I love the Dratinis and uh, Dragonairs in this set. Meditite. All right. We saw a little bit of these in the Japanese version. Ponyta. We got a reverse. And an Amoongus. But you know what we haven't seen yet, which is actually kind of surprising? We have not seen a Trainer Gallery card yet. So Trainer Gallery cards, you can pull from co code cards that are like that. Ooh, they, this, okay. Does that look different? Was that on the other ones? Oh, it was. I don't know. What, I don't know why it looks different to me. It has like uh, battle styles on the back there. But yeah, we have not pulled a um professor leventown we haven't pulled a, a uh, trainer gallery card if i could talk Pamphy fletchling come on phoebus reverse into a non-hollow now usually trainer gallery cards at least from what we've seen in like brilliant stars and astral radiance i feel like you would get between four to eight of those in a box maybe like six to eight or something like that like a good amount so like i'm surprised we haven't seen one yet but i feel like we're gonna start getting them pretty soon we got worker snorunt fletchling ferris seed smeargle Esper, and there it is, just like that. A melotic, melotic, tomato, tomato. We got a trainer gallery, our very first one. Beautiful artwork here, man. These are some of the best. This is not like one that has the texture on it, so these are probably a little bit easier to get. But let's see what we got behind here. And a Gardevoir non-hollow. Everybody's just hanging out in the in the sunshine in this set. So in your trainer gallery cards, you're gonna see TG02 out of 30. So there's 30 in this set, just like some of the others that we've had earlier. All right, let's continue. We got a trainer gallery card. We got a secret rare. We got a really nice V card, but we haven't seen one thing yet. Well, a lot of things actually, but something very important in this set. Oh, Dragonair, that's pretty good too. We haven't seen, dang, that Toxicroak's pretty sick. <laughs> ah! Okay, that was creepy. Uh, that's a jinx. We haven't seen Lugia yet though, cause we, Lynn's so scared. I can't even talk. These artworks are pretty sick for non hollows We haven't seen Lugia just yet. Claydol into a Victini. So remember, there's regular V-card Lugia. Let's see if I can remember all of them. Regular V-card, there's V-star, there's full art, there's rainbow, there's gold, and there's alternate artwork. I think that might have been all six. Hopefully I got all six. There's a V-star marker, Claydol, Hypno, nice. Archon, Durant, Emolga, Beldum, Stungfist, looking surprised. Volpix, Lance Reverse into a Verizion. Ooh. All right, let's keep it rolling here. Love the, I, I like pretty much all the pack of artworks here um, on all these. The Reggie Drago, the Vulpix, the Alolan Vulpix, I should say. The Lugia, of course, like probably going to be one of the fan favorites for the uh, pack artworks. Oh my good. Watch out, watch out. Love this. Uh, we got Sand Island playing in sand. Okay, that works. Indeedy, Baltoy, Sunkern. We got a Ponytop. Man, Ponytop artworks are always on point in Sword and Shield. Into an Arch Tops. Non -hollow. Alrighty, watch this. We're gonna get at least a V card or better in this next booster pack here. But what do you guys think of this so far? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm, I'm feeling this pack. I don't know why. I'm feeling this pack. Ready? Watch this. Watch this. Ooh, Whaler. Nine tails. Dang, that looks sick. That's an uncommon. Ooh, Phoebus. I love this. This is Pokemon like out in nature, just like out and about. Except for Litten. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to you. Rufflet. Seen something. Ed. Oh, see, there it is. Superior regular V. Not too bad. It's just a regular V, but we, we'll take it. This is turning into a superior box. All right. Let's keep rolling through these now. Um, I, I, did I even mention it? Yeah. So, yeah, I did mention it. Make sure you come back uh, tomorrow. Ooh, look at that. Uh, make sure you come back tomorrow as well for the Elite Trainer Box opening. And I'm going to be opening up all the other products as well. And I might even... I might even stream trying to complete this whole set. I don't know yet if I have... I don't know if I can. Let me know if you think I should or not. Cobillion. Oh, let's go. I, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. It definitely takes some commitment. Just a, just a little bit of commitment. It's a lot of commitment. It could take like at least 12 hours probably. Or I don't know. It could be a lot quicker than that. I don't really know. Dragonair, but I think I might attempt it. Don Fan, if you don't know what that is, basically I try to complete the entire set of a, of a brand new set like Silver Tempest in one day. In one stream. In a binder. It's very, very tough. Tour Cat. Oh, there we go. Our first legit full art Amistar. Look at that background. Dude, that's pretty cool. I like that. We're getting a little bit of everything right now, though. We got a regular full art. We got a gold card secret rare. We got a couple Vs, and then we got a bunch of uh, regular hollows. But you know what's surprising? We only have one trainer gallery. Did they nerf the pull rates on trainer galleries? I don't really know yet. I like this card for some reason. I don't really know yet, but um, Quadstone. We're gonna we're gonna find out. We're, we're not gonna know until we get through the whole box. But I feel like they might nerf them a little bit because how do we only have one? 
We only have one. Also could, I mean, this is a very small sample. We're going to have a bigger sample, especially a really big sample, if we do the live stream and try to complete the whole set. But right now, this is just a small sample, but I'm only seeing one trainer gallery, which to me seems low. It seems a lot lower, so I don't know if they would have nerfed those pull rates or not, but we're going to find out. We got a Crobat Hollow. Look at the moon in the background and all those other Crobats. Venomous Fang and Critical Bite. Okay, two more booster backs. Now, I would say the standout card in this set, like, probably, most likely, almost 100% certainly the most valuable card in the set is going to be the Lugia Alternate Artwork. Just absolutely amazing. Like, I mean, I don't know how you can beat that card. Really, really good. I do really like the Unknown Alt Art as well. Delphox, non hollow. All right, so this is going to be the last pack on the left side. Then we're going to move it to that right side and see how we do. I'm hoping... I mean, we did get a secret rare. We can definitely get more than one secret rare. We can probably get up to three in a box, honestly, if we're super lucky. Uh, Lopany. Okay, we're seeing some more cards that we haven't seen yet. They're probably gonna. We're gonna keep seeing so many that we haven't seen. The Zubat, um, even just for non hollows. Oh, Radiants are in here as well. I almost forgot Radiant Chirachi. That card, that Pokemon in particular, makes a really good shiny. Radiant Chirachi looks amazing. I love the pattern on there. And in two, a Miss May just non hollow. And yeah, I don't really know all the, the Radiance. I don't know all the Trainer Gallery cards. I don't even know all the main set cards. I just like opening up the packs and seeing them for the first time. Or at least for, you know, when I, if I browse the set, I'll look at it really, really briefly and not really look at it very closely at all. So it's always a big surprise to me to see a lot of these cards that we pull. It's always so much fun when a new set releases. Oh, there we go. Our second Trainer Gallery. You know what? I was actually thinking, I was like, when are we going to get the next one? That's a really sick artwork. So... These are really cool. So I think something new that's going to be coming with Pokemon soon is trainer gallery cards um, without, like, the trainers. So I don't know what they would call them, but it's a different gallery type of card, but just the Pokemon featured. And there we go, non hollow. Okay, so that, that's the left side. Let, let's see how the rest of this right side is going to be here. Ooh, I saw that code card. You guys see it? I saw it. That's a good sign. Okay, here we go. So, ooh, these are a little damaged. See that? Got a little damage on the top there. That's fine. That's fine. Most of these have been really, really clean, like Brilliant Stars had... I, I graded Brilliant Stars cards, and, like, I think 95% of them came back 10. It was wild, like, out of this world. The quality in these is really nice, too. Sunkern and a regular Hollow Medichain. All right, I'm ready for a Lugia. Like, please, I want to see a Lugia. Oh, I saw the kill card again. I try not to look, but there's definitely at least, a, at the very least, a minimum, there's a Hollow in here or better. Um, but I, we got to see if we can get a Lugia. There's six different chances to pull Lugia out of here. You're telling me we got to get at least one today. Come on. Come on, right here, right here. Oh, it's the Vulpix, a Lolan Vulpix V Star. Dang. All right, I'll take it. I know it's not the Lugia, but Vulpix is really, really nice in this set too. Wow. I mean, Vulpix is really like a featured card in this set, a Pokemon. Like it's literally on the front of the ETB. We'll see that tomorrow. All right, all right, all right. Come on, come on. We got our V Star, man. Yeah, we're, it's it's weird. I feel like we're getting a little bit of everything. Like. I don't want to say that they're doing it, like, on purpose that way to get a little bit of everything, but that's what it feels like. Literally, like, a sprinkling or, like, a sample of, of everything in this box. One regular full art, one V-Star. Uh, we got one secret rare gold card. We got, like, two trainer galleries. Um, we got a couple V-Cards. Like, it's literally a little bit of everything right now. Let's see what else happens. Um, I do... I, I still feel like the trainer gallery has been nerfed in comparison to stuff like Brilliant Stars and Astral Radiance. Again, I, I'm just saying this... Based off of one booster box that's not even completely done yet, but I am getting that feeling that the trainer galleries are coming through slower than normal. Rotom, Noibat, and a non-hollow. Obviously, like I said, it could just be this box, or we could just get a ton more coming up, or maybe they did actually nerf it. I don't know yet. I'm sure we'll find out very soon once all of these packs are opened up and we start opening up more stuff here and everybody else starts opening up stuff. Venomoth, we got Murkrow. Really nice. Like, that's great. That's great artwork. Just... Like, just hanging out. That's where I want to be right now, honestly. Opening up Pokemon cards somewhere like that. Durant, Beldum. Oh, Vulpix is coming back, baby. A Lowland Vulpix V now. Dang. Frost Smash? White Drop? I like the names of these attacks. Okay, let's keep going through Silver Tempest here. Now, there's also a ton of other products that are coming out for the rest of this year. It's actually pretty insane. There's so many exclusive products that are dropping at different retailers. So much Silver Tempest stuff that we got going on. Like, the rest of this year, it's just going to be a banger. Like, I'm just so pumped right now. We've been opening up so much cool stuff. Crocodile, regular hollow. Q4 is the best. Q4 is the best. Like, definitely for Pokemon cards. <laughs> so much cool stuff. And it's not even, the, like, it doesn't even end there. Because January is, like, we just kick it off with, like, a special set. Then we move into Scarlet and Violet. Like, it's nonstop. The Pokemon train continues rolling. 
Growlithe, Mistrevis, Snorunt, Talon Flame. Still only two trainer gallery pulls. Still only two, two of those. But a nice selection, like a nice little sampling of all the different rarities of cards in here. We still have like eight more packs left though, so I mean, anything can happen. Like literally, we could get something insane in this pack or the next pack. We got Meditite or just a regular Lilligant. Still really nice artwork. I really like the vibe of this set. I don't know what it is. It's a really nice vibe. Should we check the code? Oh, white code card means that at best, we're going to have a trainer gallery card or mm, we could have something where they mess up, which we've seen before, where they put the code card in and you actually get something crazy. Relicanth Halucha. Nope, not in this one. Incineroar sleeping though. New uh, non hollow rare. That's cool. Very cool. That reminds me. I need to clean my fish tank. It is very, very dirty. Very dirty. <laughs> I, have to, I have to clean that. Okay. Um, I mean, if I like love this in there and some cool Pokemon like Corsola, I'd be... That thing would be spotless, like just perfect. Be Pokemon in there, battling, all kinds of cool stuff. Venonat under the tree. That's crazy. That's crazy. That reminds me of uh, the Rugrats movie for some reason. <laughs> Zygarde. Oh, that's cool. I like the colors. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get the feeling that the pull rates on Trainer Gallery have been nerfed. Again, I, even after this entire box is open, we still won't know for sure. Could just be the box, but I don't think I've ever seen a Trainer Gallery pull rate this low, even as a dud box. Never. So I'm starting to get that. But we sold the rest. We got to see. Zubat, Venomoth, Metagross, regular hollow. Maybe they incorporated the pull rates of the trainer gallery into with the normal pull rates of like an actual set. I don't know. But we did get, I think it was one trainer gallery on the left side and one on the right. Or maybe both are on the left side. I can't remember actually. Litten, it was really close either way. Solosis. Oh, Keldeo. Still seeing some really uh, nice new non hollows. All right, we only have one, two, three, four, five more shots to get a Lugia here. All right, it could be in this one. This is a good one. By the way, the code cards probably don't work now, or at least if you're watching this video when this released or a week after this video is released, um, just because the set's not out yet. It doesn't release till the 11th. Um, as of this video, it's the third. So you got a little over a week until it releases. Phoebus, Finnegan. Oh, dude, Flappy, that's sick. Flaffy, it's so vibrant. That's crazy. Oh, wait, they're looking in the mirror. Oh, that's even cooler. Dude, you, you can sit here for like 10 minutes and look at these. I will say that this card is just really off center, top to bottom. It's actually getting close to a miscut. We're going to check that out. Oh, we got, we actually got our first double bagger. We'll take it. Okay, we're making up for uh, some of the lower pull rates here, but this is getting close to it. That is a miscut. That is pretty much a miscut. If you see that on the top there, that little dot is where they line it up. That, this is a miscut, definitely off center. Um, that, but when you see that, I'm pretty sure that, that would classify it as a miscut. I, I'm not 100% sure, but that's definitely really off. All right, the hunt for the Lugia. So we have three trainer galleries now. We're still we're, we're starting to catch up, but we're still pretty low on trainer galleries, in my opinion. Still pretty low. I'd like to see that at least at like five, maybe. Well, I mean, that's just what it was. I don't, it doesn't mean we need to see it at that, but that's just what it was. Dratini, probably like five to eight, honestly. So. Oh, what? I didn't know this was even a radiant in the set. Actually, two radiants in a box is pretty sick. We're making up on these last packs right now. All right, final three. Where are the pack artworks? Regilecki, Regidrago, and the Vulpix. Okay. We had two really nice packs in a row there. We had two nice ones in a, in a row. But here we go. Final three. Can we get more pulls out of here? And can we end it with any Lugia? Any Lugia? Lance. Because there's six in the set. There's literally Lugia all over the box. Oh my god, it's uh, these come, have been coming in pairs, these Pokemon. Vulpix, Superior, um, yeah, okay. We got another V-Star though, that's actually pretty good. Because V-Stars, I, I actually feel like I have not pulled this many when we were opening Brilliant Stars. I feel like we only got like one in every couple boxes at most. Getting Pokemon in pairs, but still these last packs, I don't know. They're making up for like some of the lower pulls that we've had, lower pull rates, but still, um... I feel like the trainer gallery, they might have just incorporated it overall. Look at the gold bat. Are they dancing or singing or just chilling? I don't know. Um, might have incorporated it into the pull rate as a whole. That's what it feels like to me. I don't know, though. Or just lowered the pull rate. Durant. Oh, my God. Wait, maybe not. <laughs> we got a VMAX trainer gallery. Oh, my God. Dude, literally just embracing the building Pokemon. Literally in the middle of a city. That's pretty sick. That's actually pretty good. Not a huge fan of this Pokemon, but this artwork actually makes it good. And then a really nice Articuno. We're ending this box out here with some craziness, but now we got our fourth Trainer Gallery. Okay, maybe not. I feel like we're, we're pretty much almost caught up with Trainer Gallery pulls. These are tough for the VMAX because it has that full art. 
TG 21 out of 30. All right, we're going to end this on our very last pack here. If we can continue with this craziness, literally getting hit after hit on these last four or five packs, we will end it hopefully with something crazy here. But remember, make sure to come back tomorrow for more Silver Tempest. We're going to be opening up an ETB. And also, make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to have all new Pokemon card content coming every single day here. But let's see if we can end this. Maybe with a Lugia would be perfect. But yeah, I think that we're caught up with the pull rates on everything. It was just, it just seemed like it was lower overall. But we got four now. I think we're pretty much almost caught up to what you normally typically get with the trainer gallery. Got a lot of pulls, honestly, ending it with these last four or five packs with a ton of stuff. We got a reverse on there. Can we end it with one more big pull? Three, two, one. Oh, ooh, an Ar Arcanine regular non-hollow. All right, but that is going to do it. Make sure you guys enter today's giveaway again. I'm giving away every single card that I pulled from this booster box of Silver Tempest. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos top there that YouTube is automatically recommending to you. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.